Right, so this is a patient with pancreatic leak in which ERCP was unsuccessful due to uh, edema, and we ended up performing us guided transpancreatic transpapillary stenting. So here's the view of the endoscope advanced uh, across the pylorus, and there was significant edema in D1, D2. And the side wing scope was advanced, and a few attempts were made, but it could not be advanced into the second part of the ordinum. And therefore, we decided to switch to the EUS scope. And uh, what you see on the screen is a dilated pancreatic duct looking at the neck region here, body and neck region. A 19 gauge FNA needle was then advanced into the pancreatic duct and contrast was injected. And uh, you see there's a dilated pancreatic duct, irregular duct with a leak in the tail of pancreas. A 032 inch guide wire was then coiled, followed by, uh, well, we tried to coil it across the papilla but was not successful. Next, we used a six inch cystodome to create a fistula tract between the stomach and the pancreatic duct. This was successfully done. Then we exchanged the wire for a 035 inch guide wire. And uh, this was eventually advanced into the, across the papilla into the duodenum. And uh, uh, the cystodome then it was advanced further, but there was a stricture preventing passage of the cystodome into the duodenum. So therefore we used a four millimeter hurricane balloon to dilate the stricture. And then we decided to place a five French double pigtail uh, stent across the gastric wall, pancreatic duct, and the papilla to have a transgastric, transpancreatic, transpapillary stenting. Now, here's the endoscope being advanced into the duodenum. We use a small caliber scope, which could be advanced across. And uh, what we see is the stent uh, coming out of the papilla. Thank you.